So Matt. Yes. You taught me all this cool stuff about how to buy a baseball glove on our last episode. Sure. And I go to practice, I'm all excited, tell all my, my dad buddies and coaches about all this new stuff I'm learning about baseball gloves. And uh, they asked me about 20 questions. <laughs> and I can answer about three of them. <laughs> okay. okay. So they're like, how smart are you, Fleegs? Like, I don't know if you're, you're doing this right. So um, the main question was about positions and gloves. Okay. So I thought you could teach me a little bit about different gloves for different positions today. Let's do it. Two are probably going to be pretty obvious, but let's just talk about them real quick anyway. Um, catcher's mitts, right? So they're obviously circular. They have the two big, thick layers of padding on each side. Um, I don't know what specifics. Anything you want to? So catcher's mitts, you've got size, right? Um, smaller the better, I think, is sort of the general kind of consensus these days. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, you know, you had bigger, like 34 inch, 30, yeah. 35 inch. So most guys are on like a 33 and a half or even a 33. Uh, it's a very personal glove sure. or mitt. Um, the way you break it in, the way you shape it is really up to you. Okay. You know, where you put the pocket, how close to your hand, how big your hand is, whether you like uh, this type of back, you like a, a traditional open back, or you like a closed back. Yeah and then how you form it. So catcher's mitt's really up to the player. Uh, you know, for catchers out there, I'd say, you know, work with your catching coaches really to try to figure out. Exactly what works for you. Yeah, most guys really like the all-star. You know, that's yeah. sort of the kind of de facto glove for a lot of guys. First baseman gloves, these are definitely unique and look a little different. They have the flat paddle, obviously for like scooping and uh, short hops and stuff yes. like that. Big gloves, right? Like big mitts. Big mitts. <laughs> so these are also, a big mitt. it's a big mitt, yeah. right? So yeah, with first base, you kind of have the web type. Uh -huh. Like some, some people prefer the single bar. Some people like the dual post, dual bar. Sure. Um, that's really just personal preference. And then size two comes down to personal preference. Mm. Um, patterns are sort of important on the first baseman's mitt. Some patterns really want to close only on a single hinge. Others, like this Yabai, closes, closes double, dual hinge. Double hinge. So that's something to think about and sort of for your hand and how you work through the ball on the picks. Yeah. Some guys like to close more like with their hand like this, <laughs> and other guys like to close like that, right? Yeah. And so if you like to close like that, you're looking for a dual hinge. If you like to close like that, then you're you looking for a single for hinge. A, a single hinge. Got and it. So it just comes down to the way your hand how you're closing. Yeah, how you work uh, when you close close the mid up. Sounds good. And obviously you want a really loud for spaceman mid. Yeah, steal a few outs, right? You steal them. So yeah. the louder the better comes down to like leather type and how you break it in but again a very personal personal glove, glove right? you know in the way that it's like specific you, glove it's yeah you're gonna unique. break it in just to exactly how you like it yeah whereas some of these infield gloves you could probably trade gloves with a guy on your team and, and you'd be okay yeah, you'd be all right you'd be probably be pretty happy with that okay so this is a weird glove like pitcher's gloves like Yes. Pitcher's mitts. Pitcher's gloves. These are gloves now. Okay. We're out of mitts. We're out of mitts. We're out of mitts. We're into gloves. Moving to the gloves. Yeah, we're gloves okay. now. So, obviously, pitchers need mitts. They're gloves. <laughs> mitts are gloves. Okay. Pitchers need gloves, but, I mean, do they need a specific glove? So, again, personal preference of the pitcher. Uh, some guys are looking at a bigger pitcher's glove. Some guys like a smaller pitcher's glove. Um, that can be mechanical. So you got like a big front side, yep. and you get a big glove side and you pull down. So that big extension and pull, you might like something heavier because kind of you're in. using that kind of big extension to help you come around, right? To help you come around, right? Um, other guys, if they use a big heavy glove, it might be pulling them too much, too much glove side, right? Yeah. So mechanically, there could be a difference in what you want, either shorter, smaller, lighter, or bigger, heavier. Yeah. And then of course the fielding side, 
you know, you have a bigger glove, sure. might be harder to field some of the ground balls. So if you're like a guy that's a ground ball pitcher, you might, if it works mechanically for you, you might want something smaller. Got it. And then everything's got the closed web. So they can't see your pitches, obviously. Can't see your pitches. Um, you've got open back, which is just, you know, basically a, a, an infield glove. I heard something you can't have two-tone pitcher uh, uh, mitts. So oh, yeah, is that true? MLB rules, the main rule's white. Oh, it's in it's in MLB only then, right? Yeah, MLB any type of like college, higher level of okay. ball. I think even high school ball. Yeah. You can't have anything that distracts. So let's say you have the big, big front side, right? You have big glove side. Sure. And it's white. Then you and now you have a white to pick up the ball. Ball coming. Sure, that makes sense. So, you know. And some umpires are stricter. Like yeah. you can get away with camel, especially once it gets dirty. Totally. Um, but that's sort of the deal. Dude, I really like this web. Like normally I don't like closed webs. But yeah. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, this thing's pretty sick. This is a just single panel web. Yeah. Uh, from Japan. This is a Mizuno Pro, and this has the finger hood. Yeah. Some guys can tip pitches. Oh, so when they, they don't mind. have the hood, some you know they might move their finger over. Yeah, you know if they're getting a grip for a changeup. Sure. Get so, it. you know they just like to keep it in the hood so that their finger doesn't move around too much. Yeah. You know at the higher level they start yeah. Thinking, yeah. tipping pitches. So sure. that's something to think about too. I don't think it really protects your finger. I know it's more just you know, gonna hit in the finger, right? So, pitcher's gloves. Outfield gloves. Outfield. Outfield's pretty easy. I mean, when you look at outfield gloves. Um, Big gloves, right? I don't have any trapeze webs here because I don't like them. Okay. <laughs> That's just me. Yeah. You see, Mike Trout does real well with a big, deep trap web. Um, I think he likes that glove. It's, it's a pretty big glove. I think he wears the hand pretty deep mm -hmm. in the glove. And he likes the big web sure. because it gets real deep and it can wrap the ball up, right? Got it. Other guys like a Cody Bellinger are going two or even I've seen photos of Cody and it looks like he has almost got three fingers yeah. in the pinky and he's got the gloves so far off his hand. He was always a really good defensive center fielder too, man. Oh, he's I'm so sad. What you want about him? Sad training, he's but... gone. <laughs> sad he's gone. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad you're wearing the right hat today. Thanks, dude. Took that, took that yeah, I got angels. a little rousted for yeah, wearing my Angels hat. Take that Angels hat off, man. That's... I'm from Southern California, man. I love the Dodgers. But... I get it. Otani's fun, but uh, maybe Marino's not. <laughs> Leave a comment if you agree. Nice. <laughs> anyway. With the outfield, it's really, yeah, it just comes down to preference, but if you're looking for something you don't know what to buy, yeah, a 1275 H web. It's what you're looking for. I for mean, good outfield club. Yeah, 90% of your major leaguers are using yeah. an H web, 1275. Okay. Some use a 13, but this is basically like your de facto. Your de facto glove. Yeah, this is what everybody I mean, that's uses. a pretty big size glove too. Yeah, stuff. pretty big, and then, yeah. That's gonna catch anything. Catch anything. Okay. I think outfield gloves, you do want to get them pretty pretty soft. Yeah. You know, you want to be able to, to wrap around the ball. Um, I like Kip. I mentioned that in the last the last video. Kip leather. I like Kip on outfield just because it's a little lighter. Yeah. And it can get soft and still has that pop. So when you know, you're running, you catch a ball low or something, you can feel it. You can hear it. Nice. So that's outfield. Okay, so this is the glove I'm kind of most confused about. Sure. Utility glove, right? Sure. Like, I, I understand it, what it does. Like, you want to play numerous positions. That's right. But what 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 am I looking for in a utility glove? So again, it comes down to preference. Yeah. So we've got kind of two types of utility gloves here. Okay. This is an outfield pattern. This one is. That is. That's okay. been scaled down. So it's a little deeper. It's a little deeper, it's maybe not as wide. So yeah. you can see the heels maybe not as wide. Whereas this is like a third baseman's pattern, but that's made bigger. been made bigger. Kind of. So, and then depending again, how you break it in, how you use it, yeah. this is an I-web, that's an H-web. So you can, you know, pretty much get away with, you know, this is a 12-2-5, that's a 12. You, know, you could play some outfield with this. 
play a little third base. Right? And you can play some third base, maybe some short. Sure. And, and be comfortable everywhere. And again, you know, you're not switching gloves, which is a good thing. I, in my opinion, you know, if, if you are moving around the diamond like that, yeah, it'd be sure. nice to keep that same glove on. So, utility is good also for coaches, you know. Because yeah, they're showing different positions and yeah, working for, around for sure. If you're yeah. a coach, you know, and you don't want to wear an 11.75 or an 11.5, you kind of have two different types of coaches, right? Yeah. You got like, I'm the hot shot coach and I still wear an 11.5 because I still take infield, maybe, right? Yeah. And then you got the guys who are just like, I'm a dad coach. Yeah, yeah. But I want a cool glove. So this is where I'm at, right? Like I'm a dad coach, and I should probably have one of these or even outfield gloves. Yes. But I still wear one. <laughs> yeah, you won't, you won't give it up, right? Yeah, I like it, man. Like, 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 I like that feel. You yeah. Know? Well, you, I think you're yeah. wearing like an 11.5, right? Yeah, I wear 11.5. So you're in like the upper echelon of dad coaches right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'd like to think so, right? <laughs> you should see me run. It's not that. It's not. I'm not in the upper echelon. I've right? seen it. It's fun. <laughs> anyway. We saw a lot of fun with it for sure. Yeah. Third base now, right? So sure. Third base. This is a. This is eleven seven five. That's an eleven seven five. This is also an eleven seven five. Okay. So Wilson Rawlings. Um, that's a wing tip. So wing tips usually get really wide. Yeah. This is really wide. So that's that's kind of the plus on on the wing tip pattern. Uh, this is a 1787 pattern. Also gets pretty wide. Uh, with third base, you obviously have to handle those backhands. Yeah. Right? So the ball's going away from you, it's going away from the diamond, and you need to be able to grab it here, right? Okay. You also have the backhands that you're moving through. So a little wider, a little deeper pocket allows you to handle harder hit balls. It gives you some more range for balls that are over your head that you have to go get. Sure. And then that width gives you a really good ability to go backhand, and then when it's coming at you and you have to work through the ball this way and catch it it's you know, on the run. So the pocket's not quite as deep as the utility glove. No. It's a little flatter here, so you can still flatter. make a transfer. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's kind of a deep enough glove that you can catch the ball pretty well, huh? For sure, so that's third base, and third base is definitely different than a shortstop's glove. Got it. So definitely deeper, bigger, why? At what level is it different? Like, in, when you're in Little League, can, are they kind of interchangeable? I'd say they're interchangeable still in Little League. Yeah. If you're playing on a more serious travel ball team, you probably want to go to a specific third base. Yeah, if start. you start playing a specific position and that's your position, yeah. I think that's the point where you need to get a glove. Got and it. then, of course, those mid-years between Little League and high school, you probably want to start thinking about where you're going to play and what type of yeah that's in a really nice for sport. sure and then definitely at the high school level yeah you know unless you're like a utility guy super athlete that they just want to put anywhere yeah, sure. well then you might need you know a utility glove or maybe a third base glove can get away with kind of nice short yeah, yeah yeah but you know you probably want to start getting a glove that's specific for your for your position Two thousand eleven five shortstop uh, seven eighteen eighty six right seventeen eighty six yes so this pattern is way more shallow than than the third baseman that's right good for great transfers right that's right still deep enough though if you need to catch a pop flyer you know coming over a hundred percent those Texas leaguers right a hundred percent of them yeah so shortstop right you need more range yeah you're going. You're fielding balls every which way, right? Right at you, to your glove side, backhand. So you have to be able to have more range. You want, I think, more of a bowl shape. Okay. So you still want that bowl shape, but you don't want it so deep the ball's getting lost. Um, you know, some shortstops are going two in the pinky, but I think most are still going traditional. Yeah. And so, the, you know, depending on how deep you put it in the glove, you can kind of close it a couple different ways. Sure. Um, yeah, I feel yeah. like when I go traditional, right? Like, yeah. I, I get my hand deeper in the, the glove usually. Yes. And I've, I feel like I still have a better feel. For sure. But I feel like if I'm if I want to make my you know get my glove a little bigger. Yes. And I want to you know play not field. I'll go two in the pinky, and I feel like I have a little bit more glove. For sure. So yeah, that's something to talk about, like depth of hand. Yeah. And then how you wear it. 
Totally. And so it could be two in the pinky just because that gives you more leverage, but you yeah. go deeper. As soon as you go deeper in the glove, you're gonna start closing this way, yeah. right? When you're way out of the glove, you're gonna close this way. And yeah. so you kind of want to find that happy medium, at least for Where me. it's comfortable for of, you, right? Yeah, because yeah. the deep, you know, the deeper it is, yeah. I think you definitely get more feel of the ball, but maybe more hand sting. Yeah. Um, and you know, you could hit your palm once when you palm it, right? Yeah. When it's off, you know, you have this gap where when you palm the ball, yeah, it, it hurts usually less. So, but shortstop is sort of in between, right? Yeah. A second base and a third base, something that's kind of general for that middle infield, right? So a second baseman, second baseman really need gloves? <laughs> I, I think, <laughs> like your own specific glove? So to me, yeah, I mean, it, it depends. Again, it's personal preference. Like, yeah. I think there's a lot of second basemen that will be really happy using that, that, glove. That, that glove, right? Yeah. But there's also a lot who want this super flat, you yeah. know, Extremely quick transfer. It, it's almost like those, uh, what are they? The, the pancake. The pancake gloves, right? Yeah. You see guys training with. For sure. So this is like a pancake glove with a web on it, right? Yeah. And so it's super flat. You know, you're really just quick, just catching super it. Super good transfer. Right, right yeah. off yeah. the glove. So that's really, you know, a very specific glove where you wouldn't be able to use this maybe for short as well. Totally. As you could use this for second base. Probably you, some of those super hard hit balls might dribble off your glove a little. Could bit. pop, could just not get it if yeah. you're having to snag something where you need more range totally. or a hard liner. Um, so second base to me is actually like the most specific of the infield, infield glove if you want this really flat shape. Yeah. So. Second base is your kind of quickest, flattest glove for yep. transfers. A little bit deeper, kind of in between a, a second and then thirds. Getting there kind of deep, you know, hot corner. Yep. But still quick enough to transfer. Utility is a bigger glove, right? Yeah. So you can still play third base, but if you need to, you can use it for outfield. Yeah, but very similar as far as like depth and, and yep. pattern. Outfield's just like. I'm catching everything, right? Catching a deep, big. Yeah. Um, still can handle ground balls. Cool. Yeah. And then pitcher's gloves, a little specific, different sizes. The weight seems to be the thing that's most important. I think so. The weight and then also making sure you're covering what Yeah. Because you don't want to tip pitches. Right? Don't definitely don't Obviously. want to tip pitches. That's not fun for anybody. Yeah. So anyway. Except for the hitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Astros. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, so. All right. So. There you have it. There's our uh, positional um, gloves and what you need for what you're playing. And um, check out all of our videos at Walden Glove and come check out Walden Glove websites if you want to learn how to break in your glove or you need any equipment to break in your glove. See you soon.